Well, this project is just absolutely one of the largest video projects we do all year long. There are so many people involved, men and women, there's camera, sound, there's just the sets and the different things we had to build and design and get to get this whole project done. And while I, I get some of the, the front camera view and you're stuck seeing me a lot, it is not me. Like these guys, these men, these women, they make me look good. And they're doing these angles, do it again, oh, say it like this. And I am privileged, like I am so blessed and flattered to have these men and women work on this project for hours and hours behind scenes. Moving things, taking a shot again, editing this footage, just this whole thing. And it's, and it's quite a lengthy process for us as we plan out just the, the whole timeline of the event. And then uh, I would help structure some of that. And then they come in and uh, with ideas for elements, ideas for the shots, for the look of this, this broadcast. Hey, I'm Brady Dalton. Um, I serve quite a few purposes here, mostly in music. Um, I'm heavily involved in singing. I also direct the choir. Um, I often edit and engineer the, the audio here in the studio at First Baptist Church. So um, those are kind of some of the things I do and I fill in some odds and ends around here. My name is Austin Cowling and I am an intern at First Baptist Church. Hi, my name is Jenny Dalton and I am involved in a lot of music here at the church. I play the piano, I sing some, and I'm involved in the choir as well. My name is Abraham Olaraloa and um, I work on staff here as an assistant pastor and I oversee the media. So originally, I think three years ago now, was our first time doing an Easter broadcast. Um, that's when the idea came up. It happened at really close proximity to Easter, very last minute thing. Um, we threw it together. We had no idea what we were doing. We didn't know what industry standards were for audio or what <laughs> format to put our videos in and send them to the broadcast stations. But we, uh, we made it work and we got it out and people were blessed. We got text, emails, calls about it. Um, we decided to do it a second year um, and this now is our third year doing it. Uh, it's been by far a much smoother process than the first and second years and uh, we just love it. We've made some improvements, steps forward. Um, this year we've, we've really tried to push for a, more of a cinematic look, music videos instead of just being on the platform. Audio is all recorded in a studio, so some really good steps forward there. No more filming it on a phone, man. All, all professional gear. Yeah. One of the things that we had to make sure that we had is two cameras that could do the job. Um, we have one on site that um, could shoot in 4K. We wanted to shoot in 4K and have it as high quality as we can. Uh, we had to rent another camera um, so we could have two different shots going at the same time. An A cam and a B cam. A uh, brother Galdemus, a uh, pastor Galdemus, he he ran a one camera and I ran the other one. Um, he had mainly the stationary shots um, and I had the one on the gimbal. So. I could supplement for different shots and different shoots in different places that we did. I helped out. I was sang in a couple of groups. I ended up playing the piano for my husband, Brady. He sang a solo for this project. And then I also helped him record some stuff here in the studio. You have different aspects of this type of project. You have your video work, you have your sound, you have your mu musician side of it. I was more on the musician side for most of it. So we had to practice, obviously. Um, Brady and I, we put together some of the songs and even one of them we had to write out parts for. So it, there was that aspect. Um, so pretty much I was just Brother Merchant's hands. He is a carpenter and very skillful at that. All I did was whatever he told me to do. And so I got to learn a lot of things that I've never done as far as carpentry. And it was pretty cool seeing him work and him teach me some of those, some of those things. They took a, within a week. So on a Tuesday, took down a tree and 
It was about a, uh, I think about a hundred foot tall tree. And then within a, a week, it was now a cross and then we were staining it, which was really cool. It did cause me to reflect on what it was about at many times. It's about people coming to know Jesus Christ as their personal savior. And so if we can reach many people through the videos we're doing or through um, coming to church, if any little thing can help that or help them to think about what the cross was and the fact that Jesus hung on it, any of those things help someone to come know, even just one person come to know Jesus, it's worth it. Uh, because God has given us the access to this, we can use what God has given to us to glorify Him. And not just glorify Him on the aspect of giving Him praise and glory, which is very important, but actually using these tools that He's given to us to reach other people for Jesus Christ. I've always kind of loved music, but I realized quite a few years ago that those talents and those, those passions I have they're not worth anything unless they're used for the Lord. Yeah, I, I think most importantly, it, it's for who it's for, right? Um, everything we do here at the church and everything I, I do is, I try to do it for the glory of God, right? Um, I, I don't wanna do things that, that push people away from God and I, I wanna be able to be used as a tool to, to point people to Christ. It's, it's about people coming to know Jesus Christ as their personal savior. And so if we can reach many people through the videos we're doing or through um, coming to church, if any little thing can help that or help them to think about what the cross was and the fact that Jesus hung on it, any of those things help someone to come know, even just one person come to know Jesus, it's worth it. John chapter 17 verse 3 says that they may know thee, the only true God and Jesus Christ. Um, I believe that the main aim of this video should be making people know more about Jesus Christ, having the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Because if you know Jesus Christ, you will know what he did. And if you know what he did, you will know who you are. And if you know who you are, then you're on a very good route to know what he's done for you. And um, that's the whole goal about this, about knowing, about people knowing more about Jesus Christ, people uh, getting saved, people knowing the cost of salvation and seeing what uh, this time of the year is all about that they may know Jesus Christ and the power of his resurrection and you know, knowing for sure that they're going to have more data. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? I'll say yes.